Um. Hey, hey, guys. So this is the prank call Kevin did. Now resorting to harassing people on the phone by doing prank calls. By the way, this man is 45. Is he doing this because he's got no one to do the pranks with anymore? Because she's supposed to have broken up with him. So he can't do it for a while until until they get back together. God, you just can't make it up with him. Um, I'd like to book a session uh, for karaoke. How much is it, please? Uh, how many people would it be for? It's just the one. Okay, so before 9pm, it's £40, pounds, and after 9pm, it's 50 And um, um, how long is that for? An hour. One hour? Well, that's so it's normal. £40 yeah. for one person for one hour? Yeah, well, that's normal. Some, some of them are more expensive than that. Well, you see, what he says at the beginning, I'd like to book. So he's asking them to actually book it. Isn't what he's doing illegal? Isn't this why people stop doing him, um, him prank calling restaurants and that? You know, with a soundboard. Because it, it, it's illegal. Yeah, because it's done by the size of the room. Do, do the mic? Does the mic make you sound really good? Like, no. I think I'm quite a good singer. Anyway, <laughs> excuse um, me. Does it make you sound good? <laughs> oh, he's got his finger in, in his mouth. Why? He's got dirty fingers and he's got them in his mouth. Oh, uh, oh no! Excuse me. What's that coming up? Oh, what's that? I think it was just a burp. But why? Why has he got his fingernail in his mouth knowing the dirt? Oh. I don't want to press play now. I'm just going to look away. It's karaoke. It will make you sound as good as you are. Um, could I give you... A, could I try my voice and could you tell me whether I'm going to sound good or not? Or the... No. No. Mm-mm. You've just traumatised me enough there, Kevin, with your finger, with your dirty fingernail in your mouth. If he actually starts singing, I'm leaving. I think I'm quite a good singer. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll sing. Sure. Um, don't do it. Flying without wings. No. Um, uh, uh, no. By Westlife. No. Okay. You, you find it in the deepest places. Places you always know you'll meet. Oh, you'll find it in the place you'll place you. Never, 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 ever meet. Uh, you think I'll sound, you think the mic, with well, the mic. I definitely think you should book a room and get singing down there. My apologies for that, but I wasn't listening to it. And no, I'm not going to watch this video again. So I don't care if he swore in it or what. I'm not editing. All I'm doing during editing is adding the logo, the intro, outro, and that's it. I'm not watching none of it. How was it? Because I'm not watching it. You'll have to tell me how it was in the comments. Okay, um, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Right, no okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> How was that a prank phone call? And and how how was that funny? How was it a prank? All all it all it all you did was make a general like, inquiry, and sung a song terribly, from what I can gather. But how's that a prank? The funny thing about a prank, Kevin, is when the other person that doesn't know it's a prank finds out it's a prank and their reaction. But why is he laughing like it was the funniest thing since the slice of bread was invented? He thinks that's more funny than the wheel. Like it was the best thing ever. 
I'm confused. Kevin, your sense of humour is just as bad as the rest of you. Very strange. And dull. But man, you can't exactly expect someone to come up with like this great amazing prank when they're only running on a couple of brain cells. If you get what I mean. Because that's all he's running on. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.